All right, I'm going to show you guys an awesome shortcut for doing cross product with IJK unit vectors. Uh, so this thing up here was the hand that I attempted to draw in the last video uh, using the right hand rule. So remember, if you want to cross I, cross J, you kind of karate chop this or point your fingers in the direction of I, these fingers. And then you sweep palm in the palm direction uh, until your fingers are pointing in the direction of J, or your karate chop you know, goes that way. And then the direction that your thumb is facing, your thumb would be coming straight out of the page here, like the thumbs up almost, it would be pointing in the K direction. Similarly, if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to find J cross I, you do the reverse. You point your four fingers in this direction, sweep palm first to this direction, and then the only way that your thumb could possibly be pointing if you did that would be into the page. Now this gets more confusing if you're doing something like J cross K. Uh, you could see maybe it doesn't seem that confusing now if you point your fingers this way and sweep palm first to K, that uh, your right hand thumb would be pointing in this direction. But it sometimes can get confusing, especially in a test. So what we need to do is just for example, I will show you Remember we had, uh, mathematically, we had I cross J, 1, 0, 0, cross 0, 1, 0, is equal to, remember we had 0, 0, 1, right? So we had I cross J equals K. Similarly, J cross I was equal to negative K. Now the way that we can remember this really fast uh, is to just write I, J, K twice. So write I. J, K. Just do this at the top of your test or something or on a piece of paper that you have. I, J, K. Okay, so now what we do is if you move to the right, you read I, J, K, I, J, K. So we had I cross J is equal to K. Well, look at this, I, J, K. So if we go this way, the, if we cross two of them, the one to the right is going to be the positive value, and that's the vector that we would get. Right, I cross J is K. So J cross K would actually equal I, positive I and k cross i is equal to positive j. You can test it out doing it longhand, but this works for all of them. Similarly, if you go the other way, if you go to the left, remember we said we had j cross i is equal to negative k. So if you go to the left, you just add a negative sign, and whatever the, the third one on the left is, that's the result. So we'd have k cross j is equal to negative i, and j cross i is equal to negative k, and k cross j, well we already said that, is equal to negative i. And that right there, that's going to save you a ton of time. Uh, it won't necessarily give you the magnitudes because, well, if you're just using unit vectors, the magnitude will always be one. But say if we had, you know, five zero zero cross zero ten zero or something, uh, this will definitely give you the direction as long as the directions are following just these and they're not in some other weird plane. And also, if you just had a negative value, uh, and then your final answer, just multiply that by minus one. So there you go. Use this, and it will save you tons of time on a test.